sometimes in life you find yourself on the right side of the line. We got a trio of threes talking about a four. <laughs> Just because it's called a stereotype doesn't make it a lie. <laughs> you can put that on my greatness statue, that okay. quote right there. A member of the Global Ag Network. When I played baseball, we had to use our own leg as a bat, and then we had to go rob an egg off Old Man Johnson's chicken coop, and we used that as the baseball, and we had to go get a new baseball every time we hit a baseball. That's what this guy I'm talking about, um, the new Rangers uh, ballpark in Arlington, that's how kind of it went. That's kind of how he likes baseball, because apparently baseball, it's not baseball, if it's not 110 degrees, and you're not almost in a heat stroke, and almost in a coma, and you've drank three dozen water bottles yourself. Don't you think that's how baseball should be, Ashton? I believe so. Got to have a little bit of dirt under your fingernails, too. Yeah. To get, uh, in the stands, not just playing it? Uh, no, yeah. I think I think the people in the stands, they could get a little bit rowdy, too. They do at the, <laughs> at the Rangers ballpark. Uh, we you got, got some tar on there. You got to have some pine tar on the belly of your cap too. <laughs> now, Landon, are you still softball guy, or are you done with that stage in your life? No, we we didn't play this year because of because of COVID. But I, I think I was done. You were. I kind of is kind of switched over to golf. Is there an age limit? <laughs> if there is, I hit it. <laughs> <laughs> God, I would think so. Ashton, were you ever a softball player or much of an athlete? I was, yeah. I did uh, select softball in middle school, and I played basketball. Now, you said what type of softball? Select. What is select? You don't know what a select team is? It's no. I was never selected on a team, <laughs> Ashton. It's a, com- it's competitive, a competitive okay. team. So what did you play? Did you play everything? No, they, they had me in the outfield. I was really slow. Oh, no. <laughs> Left or right field then? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's where they always put the stars at it. But you were yeah. probably a hitter, though, weren't you? Yeah, I yeah. was. So, uh, and it, obviously it was fast pitch then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, ha- is it pretty hard? And I've never done fast pitch. Uh, yeah, I was really scared of the ball. So. Yeah? Did you get hit much? Uh, no, but I like to act like I did. <laughs> <laughs> did you lean into it like Major League? Mm-hmm. You did. That was awesome. Touch your right. base. Strategy. The strategy, always. So, did they have, like, any goofy rules like Landon... Like if you uh, the count always starts at like what three and two one one <laughs> one one <laughs> starts at one and one and uh, you can't hit a home run or something like that or yeah and in, in in extra innings it's a full count really I mean it's either a walk or a, walk or a strikeout so it's pretty fun it's pretty it's a pretty that's a pretty quick pace there especially when you pitch it's kind of intense yeah uh-huh. and they've got a, a koozie and a, a keg at every base also or what <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Vega Roundup, they have the swimming pool in center field. Oh, nice. Is that now? Yeah. Is that for the players? That's for anybody. Oh. There's there's people out there watching and it's people cool. catching balls and jumping in and all all kinds of good stuff. It's really pretty legit. What's the uh, what's the prize for winning the game? At Vega? No, in Las Vegas. Or where? Yes, in Vega. Oh, <clears throat> nothing. You have to do like shotgun a beer <laughs> like every ten beer. minutes. Yeah. Uh huh. I think I think if you make it to the championship game, you get a you get a free shirt. And I think the one year we won it, we got a baseball bat. The whole team got one bat, so that was cool. Now, Ashton, I don't know if it's. I'm sure it's probably still the same way it is uh, the way we went in college. But um, did you have a T-shirt for every event you ever went to, like every formal or every activity? Did y'all make shirts, your buddies, or now you're not a sor- you're a sorority girl? No, you're not a sorority girl. Okay. No, but uh, yeah, for like homecoming and stuff like that, I I would just take them you just just steal shirts <laughs> they, they were free i just wouldn't talk to anybody i would just go up and <laughs> snag one <laughs> didn't know if they were for me or not oh man that's i figured that's kind of how ashton ruled well guys we're talking talking a little baseball this today i kind of got into it um on facebook and that's always like a really good um it's always a good uh way to spend your time in life is spend a fight uh, spend your time on a fight in facebook don't you agree ashton now you got to tell me have you ever been on a fight in facebook 
I, I've wanted to, but I've I've tried to keep my cool, and I think I'm a little bit better at it than you. I'm just really scared of getting hate mail, but you're not. So uh, I'm not getting hate mail. I just uh, <laughs> hate the mails that reply to it. How's that? <laughs> no, um, I, I've I have to uh, say I'm pretty impressed with myself because I have shown more restraint than I would anticipated over the course of my life because there is several fights that I could have got in on on Facebook. Uh, one time, the most the most activity I ever showed on my Twitter page was uh, when the uh, well, when it was, it's still going on. The Black Lives Matter thing was going, and I said something pretty innocuous. Uh, is it innocuous? That's is it, it's pretty uh, bland. It's not very controversial. And anyway, and I only said like one thing, and I replied like once or twice, and it got the <laughs> this responses to my co- comment got seven hundred to eight hundred likes. Wow. But they weren't to my comment. They were to the people that hated me. And so, I mean, what do they say? Any any publicity is good publicity. You can't have bad publicity. I know that's what they teach in AdCom, right? Um, I, I wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say that? <laughs> what? We, what, to, what do they say then? We're trying to like advocate for the industry. We want, we want it to all be good. So now, do you have a PR class, or um, I know there's like in there a whole degree for public relations, or not? Yeah, there is. Okay, but that's in mass communications. Right. Okay, but you probably took. Have you taken one yet, or? Yeah, I have actually. Yeah. And so they're not saying any publicity is good publicity. No. No. They're, not. they're obviously not making money off of their off their curriculum. There are they? No. No. So uh, anyway, so on my fight on Facebook, so this guy, we're talking about the Rangers. And of course, there's been all kinds of opinions. And we'll get, I don't know if Ashton's got an opinion on the stadium or not, but we'll get it anyway. She'll make one up in the next course of 45 seconds, but I'm sure she'll come up with something. Landon, what's your take on the uh, new Rangers ballpark that's got the retractable roof and it's like $100 billion or something to to build? I think it's a long time coming. We, We always seem to kind of fade in the August heat. So I think, I think this will be good. Or June heat. Yeah. 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 I remember the game in 2011 and it was brutal. So, um, I don't, I'm sure I've talked about this before, but we went to the game, a game two years ago and it was an evening game and it was against, I want to say, was it again? It wasn't against the Rockies. Maybe that was last year. Anyway, whatever the case, this turned out to be the hottest baseball game ever recorded in Major League Baseball. And this was in the evening. It wasn't an afternoon game. It was 110 when the game started. At 10 o'clock, after the ninth inning finished, it was still 104 degrees. It was me, It was me, my wife, my two boys, my uh, in-laws, and all. Uh, so there was like, what, seven little boys, all under the age of Let's say, uh, no, 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 one was not there yet. But uh, six boys under the age of 14. 37? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, sw- I withered up to a 97-year-old man after the game was over, Ashton, because I was all wrinkled up. But um, we brought in, and I don't know you could do this, you could bring in your own water. And we brought in a two cases of water bottles, and we ran out. This is how, and we were in the shade. We were in the shade most of the time, too. And this game went into extra innings, and of course they lost. Of course, they weren't even in the running in 2000. That'd be, what, 18? So um, it was a very pleasurable game. So I've got, you know, I've got experience. I've got anecdotal evidence on how I know how terrible it is to sit in a 100-degree game. So I'm going to try to bring up this. um, You'd think I'd have this prepared ahead of time, but I really don't because that's not really how I roll because otherwise it'd look like I know what I'm doing. And I don't, so um, I'm going to keep it real. But I'm going to go ahead and go over here to my notifications. And um, let's see. Here we go. Um, No, I don't want to go to the Rangers page. Okay, here we go. People, I said, so all I said, this is pretty um, bland and not controversial, wouldn't you say? People need to get over the good old days of baseball mantra. The good old days were 110 degrees, sunburns completely being exhausted after leaving the game and almost feeling sick. I mean... I got 12 replies off of that, Ashton. That's like a record, other than the whole, you know, BLM deal. So, um, that's, uh, I don't know. I mean, I know it's controversial as being sarcastic, but what do you think? Don't you agree that's not a whole lot of fun to sit in that kind of weather? I mean, because you're just sitting. There's no breeze. Mm -hmm. It's Dallas. It's not Amarillo or Lubbock. We don't have a 30-mile-an-hour breeze blowing in our face. So, we're sitting there with all these little kids. Um, granted they belong to us, but, um, nonetheless, they hate the heat just like I do. 
And it's, so these people, the people start in this, the peanut gallery start in, and one guy, of course, his name is Wesley. And um, I don't know if I was kind of thinking Chad was the male version of Karen. Chad is like a frat bro. A frat. Okay. So is the, what do you have you heard the male version of Karen? I haven't. Do we need to make one up? Is it Keith? Let's go with Keith. No, I like Wesley. Wesley kind of sounds because uh, I don't know. If, I'm sure neither one of y'all are Star Trek nerds like I am, but they had a Wesley Crusher on Star Trek, and there's always this meme that goes around that says "Shut up, Wesley," and you kind of have to really watch Star Trek to appreciate it. But uh, it worked really well here because that's what this guy's name was. But um, it says Brent. He's replied to me. Says Brent Carlson. So what does that say about you? The players could hack it, but you need to be comfortable. I get it. I'm like. Yeah, they're here to entertain me. That kind of how it works, yo. And um, then I even said, yeah, it is worse for players on the field. Uh, and then he was trying to go in the whole thing about how you need to toughen up. It's Texas. It's hot. Get over it. I'm like, dude, I'm not going to a two-a-days high school football program to learn how to stand the heat. I'm paying to go to a ball game. This guy's trying to give me like this whole, hey, son, listen here. I know you're seven years old. I'm a grown-ass man, Ashton. Like almost middle. I don't see. Okay, I gotta digress here. How do you know when you're middle aged? Because when you're mid in the middle of something, you know where the beginning and the end are. That's so, a really the, good question. Any thoughts? Because if you die when you're forty, you were middle aged at twenty. Y'all talk about that for the next five minutes. I'm running out of stuff to talk about. <laughs> We can we can always talk about Kanye's manic episode. We're getting there, Ash. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you into the fold here. Just hang on okay. now. I wanna I'm I'm gonna make sure I'm recording here first before we go any further. Okay. But isn't that true? Okay, maybe it's just a comedy bit that doesn't work. Yes, and... Brett. Your your basic math is correct. Okay. At... <laughs> I hate y'all. If y'all were on Facebook, I would reply to you. <laughs> so Ashton, any thoughts on a air conditioned brand new stadium? Sounds fantastic to me. Thank and you. I mean, they have like really cool amenities and stuff going in there as well. So we've got, yeah, yeah. Have you? Okay, would you like to list them? Um, I'm not very educated on it, but I know that they have like, I don't know. I guess like a couple of places to eat and get drinks, and I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Well, that's it's, it's okay to say you don't know. Brent, they have concessions. Are you, the bigger question is, are you going? That is a cutting edge 21st century amenity to all baseball parks is concession stands. <laughs> Brent, I think they might Brent, even have hot dogs, Ashton. I was just about to say, Brent, it's well, more than hot dogs. Okay. Go ahead, Brent, Landon. what we really want to know is if you're going to send one of your cutouts to be put in the stands. I'm thinking about sending a doppelganger of myself because that's probably the only time I'm ever going get to get to sit in the luxury suites. You should, you should do one with like one of the t-shirts that says, who has two thumbs and needs a beer? <laughs> <laughs> that would be this guy. So, um, yeah, no, I think it's a great idea. We went to a Cowboy game two years ago. Have you ever been to the Cowboy games in the new stadium? I, I haven't been to a Cowboys game, but I've, I saw George Strait in the stadium, and then I've been to a Tech game out there. Oh, okay. And what would you think? Pretty awesome. Yeah, I like it. So we got we got some a little higher-end seats. We were like on the – oh, we were on like the 35, 40-yard line about – Maybe twenty rows back from the field, and I mean it was, and we got kind, of, we got um, to go to a different level. It was kind of um, not too exclusive, but you know, not to the general public anyway. And I mean, it was every, it was to the freaking nines. It, not only is it a huge arena and a huge stadium, but it's so sophisticated and just fancy. Like everything is fancy, and they there's no telling how many people work there on a game day. There's probably. Uh, there could be a thousand people working there. They have people just standing around watching people, and they're not, these aren't just security. These are just like customer service people, or you know, like federal agents. I don't know, but whatever the case is, they've got lots of people working there. So it's good for the um, people that need kind of a weekend, you know, side hustle. But um, yeah, so and they're like, like and they're like two or three people in the the big screen. Two or three. Oh, I don't know. I didn't look behind the screen. I didn't look behind the curtain. Later. No, in, inside that thing, I think there's like two or three people working in that thing during the game. I could be wrong. Just to like cool it off or what? Just to make sure everything's going right, I yeah, guess. I, I guess don't know. So. Yeah. It'd be a little freaky to be watching the game and just see someone fall from the sky. That would trip just, me out. Uh, kind of like Dak Prescott's passes. <laughs> yeah. They, they always hit the ground. Yeah. So, no, but no, it's super fancy. But no, the whole thing on this, like we're watching, this is... Uh, the. 
uh, we're watching the Rangers right now, and um, uh, granted, it's a, a spring training game, and there's only been like this is the second one in the Mar. Is it Friday? They actually have the first opening day, and um, you know, it's a whole lot better than Tampa Bay's field, man. And we all know how fake Tampa Bay's and Toronto's AstroTurf look. And they've actually, they've got real dirt on the mound and the infield, but of course it's fake grass. So, um, but at least it doesn't look like. What are you doing? Are you popping? Who? Are you on a plane? You look like you're trying to pop your ears. Who me? Yes, you. I was playing with my kid. I'm trying to look up. We're playing with stuffed animals. He's doing this, like you're trying to pop your ears on an airplane. Maybe I am. Well, are you? That's why I'm asking. Now, I'm trying to look up and see if how many people work in the video board at Jerry's World. Okay, now, while you're, while you're looking that up, Ashton, I want to hear all about Kanye West. Um, he's crazy. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of cray-cray. Kanye is... When, did you, when do you think he started being that way? Oh my when gosh. he married Kim or before? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I thought I was fixing to say. <laughs> I think she just really made him go downhill. It's a, it's an interesting couple to say the least. I mean, Kim and Kanye aren't they responsible for getting Trump to like release people out of uh, custody or make? Uh, that's pretty scary. When uh, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, a character off of that show, is I- implemented into a national and domestic policy. I know. I think it's absolutely insane. Kim wants to be a lawyer. Good for her. But I'm like, well, when you have a uh, a, a sex tape released, can you be a lawyer? Or- do you think people like have a stigma about you? Like, what, what's the deal there? I just think it's a little bit weird. Well, first of all, what kind of law do you think she would practice? Would it be criminal law? Would it be civil law? Would it be entertainment law? Ag law? I think that she's just all over it. I think, hey, when you're that when you're that talented and that diversified in your in, in your talents, I mean, I'd say go for broke. But um, I haven't caught Kim Kardashian's released video, but I've heard it's big. I, I myself have not seen or anything. It kind of terrifies me. But if that's that's what she got famous for, and now she wants to release people from prison. Now, um, her is her no. Her dad was the so yeah, and so her dad was the lawyer for O.J. Simpson. Yeah, or no, no, no. Yeah, he, 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 okay, yeah, yeah he was. Kardashian. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's how O.J. They... Simpson was Khloe Kardashian's dad. O.J. Simpson is Khloe <laughs> Kardashian's dad. Have you heard this? I have not heard that rumor. Yeah, because she like doesn't look like. The other ones, the other sisters, right? So uh-huh. People just have this theory that uh, she was actually OJ's daughter. Now, um, w- now, what what nationality are they supposed to be? Armenian. Armenian. Okay, Armenian. So they escaped the Armenian genocide. So that's a bonus. So, um, and their dad is Bruce Jenner. No, who's Bruce? No, that's your stepdad. Mm-hmm. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, stepdad. 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 Step. Step. I'm gonna step. retract my statement. Step. What? <laughs> Brad, uh, they still Brad. call him. They, they call him. Call yeah, him like, her. Uh, uh, they say dad. I'm so confused. Yeah, Kendall and Kylie say dad. Say dad. Okay. So does do you? Th- what do you think he dresses for on like Christmas? Does he like take a day off of being a transgendered or not? Like, does he take the holidays off? No, I don't think so. Okay, because I don't think he got it tacked, uh, tucked in, did he? I don't think so. But he, like, he he's grown his hair out and. Well. I, so did Mick Jagger. Well. I don't know. I don't know if he like got like a breast, not augmentation. augmentation. Well, yeah, he could have. I don't know if he did or not. But I don't think the plumbing got rerouted. I don't know. I don't think so. Landon, any thoughts? Do you do you know anything about his or her background? I don't keep on much with pop culture. <laughs> you have a flip phone. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not me this time. It's not me this time. Yeah. There. There's a reason for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, nice. Ashton asked me earlier, it's like, so does he just look up Twitter on his computer? <laughs> <laughs> like, I guess so. Yes, I, yeah. he has to I, I do. I do have a computation. I do have a computation device. So. A computa- do you have a TI-82? Yes. Yeah, it yeah. works. Yeah. Still works. He has to go to no, I library. don't have a TI-82. <laughs> he has to go to the community library just to like, look on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> like one of the computers that you have to schedule for 20 minutes. <laughs> See, so Ashton, have you been up in the stack? Uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, have you been up in the stacks of the library? Yes, I have. To did you get anything out of there just to study? No, just I went up to like one of the little cubicles like one time to study, but um, 
the little I phone booths. I don't really study. So. No, no. Landon, did you ever do that? Do what now? Did you go up in those little bitty cubicles in the library up in the stacks, like the fourth, <laughs> fifth, sixth, uh, fourth, six, uh, fifth or sixth floor? I can't remember which ones they are, but no. They had like the movable. No. They had the mo- motorized <laughs> um, bookshelves. Uh. Uh-uh. Now we. My first week there, I took that orientation class, and we went up there and toured it. So we saw all of that stuff, but no, I never, I never went up there. Did Did you do one of the tours where the guy, the tour tour um, tour guide, walks backwards the whole time? Yep. Do they still have those, Ashton. I am one. <laughs> Are you a backwards walker? I am. I'm in President Select, so we give we have tours and stuff like that. You're in. You're in all these select clubs, select softball, select presidents. <laughs> what aren't you selected to do anymore, Ashton? Not a lot. Man, you are you are selective. Mm-hmm. I thought I'm a hot commodity. I thought it was a president elect. <laughs> I thought it was a president elect club. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. So do you do you ride one of those green deals backwards? Those little lime bikes or whatever they call them. <laughs> I put it in reverse. You put it in reverse. <laughs> Is that what they are they're called? Lime bikes or something? Yeah. So I was watching a uh, John Stossel's uh, little clip on Facebook the other day, and they had these lime these uh, bikes you could rent or whatever scooters, and um. So there's this one company you could, you know, I guess you can just leave it anywhere. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, so there's this other company. I don't know if it's the same one or not, but you could leave it somewhere. You could uh, somebody could take it home, charge it and bring it back. And this company would do this, is this the same deal. Mm-hmm. Did you ever do that? Did you ever take one home? And no, but they, they pay good money to people like you can pick up however many scooters you want, go home and charge it. And OK, um, they, I, I guess you like register to be a charger, and so they'll oh. send you like the little. Plugs. I bet you were selected for it. No, I wasn't. You were. That's the one thing I'm not good at. <laughs> if you can't get that, if you can't get past that background check, you've got problems. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so tell me, so you go home, you, they people charge it, and then they just and then take. They like give you twenty bucks for like each scooter you charge or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a pretty mm-hmm. good little side hustle. Mm-hmm. Just charges it overnight or what? Yeah. And people just go drop it off like on a sidewalk or what? Exactly. And that's scary. I don't know. Oh my gosh, no. I love using them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so fun. So I'll never forget. I've told this story several times to people, but I'll never forget my one of my first real Lubbock weather experiences. I was walking from Murdo to Holden Hall, and this was like a two o'clock class. And I looked up and the sky was red and it was raining sand. <laughs> it was It was so dry, but it was yet raining that it was raining sand and everything was just coated in this like red sandy clay and the sky was like uh yeah it was clay red it was it was quite the it was quite the apocalyptic view but um that's one of my first weather experiences of loving not that i live that far away from there anyway but uh we don't have sand up here but it was pretty impressive nonetheless but yeah so i didn't have the uh, how fast do they go do they how fast can you go from like well no so you're over in the ag con do you you're probably go over to the ag science building before i mean meat lab and all that and stuff so they let you cross a highway with it or i guess you probably have to go to the crosswalk or i just i zoom around on that thing in the middle of the street has people got have people gotten hurt yeah m- my friend thomas this is a really funny story he was like riding one on the sidewalk and he was like watch this Uh-oh. and tried to like jump off the curb and the front wheel like <coughs> snagged the curb and he flipped over the handlebars and he's not a small boy. Uh oh. And it was probably the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That's awesome. So what happens if you wreck one? I don't really know. I know when we were Did he wreck the, it? No, he was fine. But I know that when we were in the final championship game for March Madness last year, uh, they set a big old group of them on fire. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, because that's how we that's how classy we are. Uh huh. That was over on university, wasn't it? It was on Broadway. So Broad, yeah, Broad, yeah, that was, huh? that was the final four game, and so then on the championship game, they had SWAT. Yeah, I, I remember that. SWAT I remember Broadway. that. They had like a big old like eighteen wheeler. Oh. Cop SWAT thing, and like it was locked down because they like tipped cars over and crap. It was insane. Why do Why do people hate Red Raiders? I don't get it. We don't. I mean, that's lovable. <laughs> I mean, I think a, a good. A good riot. Yeah, I mean, what's we've seen how well riots work. They're not going to do anything. They're just going <laughs> to let you take over a, a precinct. Y'all should have just tried to take over the tech police station. I mean, I think uh, they could have achieved that. Did you see any of that firsthand? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I was a little bit afraid. Yeah, that's that'd be kind of a kind of a scary situation to be in. So, um, 
where did we we got from um, Kanye? Did so l- expound on your psychological analysis of Kanye a little bit, Ashton. His um, is he like certifiable crazy or should he put put in like a seventy two hour hold or what are we thinking here? I don't know. He like took to he's taken to Twitter so many times and gone on like random weird Twitter rants. And that sounds like somebody else we know. <laughs> <laughs> At real Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then he's like BFFs with Donald Trump. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I just think the whole situation's weird. He's talked about how like Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner have like tried to take him and get him locked up at some like asylum basically and he's just gone full blown off his rocker I yeah. think and he was like wearing a, a bulletproof SWAT vest to his little political rally and he was crying and screaming he didn't have a mic yeah it was just weird stuff and he and then he said that Harriet Harriet Tubman, Tubman didn't yeah. didn't free the slaves yeah and then his family I saw a TikTok about someone his Harriet Tubman's descendants uh, like basically called him out for it and was like bashing him I guess for saying that and someone was like yeah he uh, he's had his black card revoked since Harriet Tubman's family is like calling him out like I figured he would uh, I figured that got revoked when um, he was back in Trump so um, yeah I was looking at these headlines here so Kim Kardashian West addresses Kanye West mental health and asks for compassion Kanye West, in another article, Kanye West makes Walmart run with Damon Dash. I don't know who, who is Damon Dash. I have no idea. 50 Cent supports Kim Kardashian during Kanye West breakdown. Uh-oh. What's going on? <laughs> Uh-oh. Is Fitty? I think Fitty's moving in on Kimmy. On, uh, uh, yeah, on uh, Kimmy. What do you think, Landon? Oh. Oh, oh, 50 Cent piece. I, I Fitty's, Fitty's going to break a quarter off or something. Fitty's, no. Fitty's broke, though, isn't he? I mean, he's broker in a joke, isn't he? Um, he actually just played a show in Lubbock. So Are you serious? I think that he might be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Garth Brooks was in Lubbock last year, so. But, okay, yeah, but uh, 50 Cent was playing at Kong's. Where now, where's that? Uh, did, That's like, right, it's, you know, you know Louis Louis Piano Bar? It's in the Depot District. Okay. Remember, remember we, we're removed a ways. Okay. Well, it's like right off of Buddy Holly. Okay. And it's like this little bitty, like, EDM bar basically, and do you know EDM. What, do you know what, no. uh, See now you're gonna have to explain right stuff to us. It's, I think it stands for electronic dance music. Okay. So it's like fist pumping and uh huh, all that techno kind of stuff. and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. And he he like he like came to Lubbock to I think it was like off of like a Doc's liquor store or something okay. off the loop to promote his uh, uh cognac I think is what. Oh he yeah. Has. Cavassier. And um, you, if you like bought a ticket to go to his meet and greet, then you got to go to his show at Kong. Oh, wow. And- Dude is broke. Mm-hmm. Dude doesn't have any coin to spend. So What's like, his best song? What's that, Landon? What's his best song? In the club? <laughs> okay. You don't think I don't know In the Club, Ashton? I just, uh, I'm sorry. Hearing, hey, hearing you guys talk about this is just really making my day. Fitty was bi- came out big <laughs> when you were in like junior high, oh, girl. Me and my mom, we would jam. Fitty, so you and your mom, my mom's not a Fitty fan. Oh, my mom let me listen to music <laughs> that she definitely shouldn't have. <laughs> now Kanye West, he was big with um, I don't know how many times I sang um, Gold Digger, <laughs> but yeah. I sang it a lot because that is a hap hip hop badass song. Even though he, that's back when he was famous for saying George Bush doesn't care about black people. So, um, but nonetheless, okay. Without anybody cheating, how old is Kanye? Forty four. Okay. Low, high, forty three, and his net worth. Anybody? I'm not even gonna try. I don't know if this. Eighty two million. I don't know if this is because of his wife or not, but his net worth, this says right here, 1.3 bills. 1.3. But I mean, he has, he has Yeezy, like his shoes and his clothes. That's right. And then it's his music. Why don't we just pull him up here on the old Googler and um, see if we can find a, so what is that? Yee? 
I'm gonna have to start following Kanye West. How many followers do y'all think he has? Too many. Well, obviously. How many? I'll give you. It's over ten million. Oh wow! Fifteen million. Thirty point four million. Jesus. He's only following two hundred and sixty people. <laughs> I cannot believe that. I would love to see his wow. uh, his tweets. Um, I guess you kind of have to follow these people to kind of stay in the know. I'm still a little insulted that Ashton is shocked that I know Inda Club. <laughs> Bottle been cl- hey, that's, I need to write that down for my uh, music crossover. What's a good artist that can do in the club? In the club. Hey, Brent, was Kanye, is, is Kanye the one that you were quoting? Who is who is the rapper that you were that you were doing the videos? You were you were doing the voice. I'm trying to remember. It's been too long, Landon. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to follow up on that. What was I doing? Mine. It's like the. It's like the mumbling. You're, you know how he talks funny. Oh, oh, um, oh, damn it! I almost had it. I'll, I'll have to. I'll think about it. Start with an. Oh, I don't know. Oh, um, dang! I almost had it. What was it? Anyway, I'll have to go back and look. But yeah, um, it wasn't Jaw Rule. <laughs> no, not Jaw Rule. He's got the raspy voice. Oh my voice. god, I love listening to Jaw Rule. Oh, I do too. I've got Jaw Rule. Is it Nelly? No, um, yeah, 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 with the Florida Georgia line. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, where are you born at? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> hey, I just saw a cool video, man. And I think it's a deal, man. Huh? I think we need to turn it up, though. What you think? Ah, see, I don't know. It's like he can't get out. He's only can get out one syllable for every word. <laughs> and he's out of breath. I don't know if he smokes too much or what it is. Yeah, Nelly. Good call, man. I hadn't done that one in a long time. That was a, <clears throat> it was it was a pretty good show. It was a pretty good show. So, um, on you might like if you follow Kanye West, the chosen one. Don't know that one. Chance the rapper, heard of him, and then Kim Kardashian West. Are you you think if your last name is West, are you obliged to call your kids North South East? She has a daughter. I know. Name is North. <laughs> Do you think she was uh, obliged to set, call it North, or was that just because I mean that's pretty that easy? That's so stupid. That is the stupidest thing ever. Northwest. So, um, well, what didn't Gwyneth Paltrow call her kid Apple? Yeah. Her first, one of her girls is named Apple. Celebrities have the weirdest kid names. Yeah. It, so is a, speaking of Gwyneth, Landon, uh, do you want to say she's got a new uh, scent candle? I don't think you My ever heard this episode, Ashton, that. did you? I don't think so. Uh-oh. This is our hidden episode. This is My wife was telling episode. me that... <laughs> She had. Oh, I okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. She had. She had a. She had a vagina scented candle, and, and then her new scent. Her new scent smells like her orgasm. <laughs> Ashton, I guess Ashton's it, dying over here. Yeah. The I, and then I said, Landon, isn't that just the smoke? Because and that, I said that comes after. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can only light it one time, or can you light it more than once? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not going there. Did you hear that original story about her personal? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh, okay. How they captured that, I don't know. Do they just? Did she have to show up to the factory every day when they're melting the wax, or I what? Just, I, I I don't even want to know because she has her like brand or whatever, and it's literally just called Goop. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean that's that couldn't be more on the money though or on the nose as far as name of a brand where you sent a candle for your yay yay or whatever <laughs> you whatever you want to call it. I don't know if she's laughing at me or with me, Landon. That's the problem over here. I just have never heard a yay yay. <laughs> yay yay. <laughs> I know it's the JJ, but not not the hey hey. Maybe that's <laughs> that's what I would call her company. Hey hey. <laughs> because I mean goop. That's you wouldn't think goop would be a good marketing plan unless you were actually selling goop. Like they make a tire she, sealant. She just has her kids like in the sweatshop making <laughs> making that uh what is it called that the kids are all into? <laughs> the goop. The, yeah. They're just yeah. making the with glue and glitter. It's actually, <laughs> this smells like it's mom's got, laundry. <laughs> it's like she's getting George Costanza to name everything for <laughs> <laughs> These pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seven <eight. laughs> uh, what about 13 no 13 no good no good <laughs> oh we've just done 34 minutes of absolute nonsense ashton i mean couldn't get any more uh 
couldn't get any more crazy than that. So I'm, what I'm hoping for is we can get Kanye West, the Texas Rangers, Texas Tech to all retweet this episode. You need to get the Global Ag Network to work on that, Kay, Ashton. Okay. I'll reach out to Kanye's team. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, see if we can't get connected. Okay. Unless he's, you know, in, in a coma. Tied up. Or, you know. Yeah. Has- hit, up, hit up 50 Cent piece. It sounds like he <laughs> might need some, <laughs> need some recognition. I, yeah, I think he might be into that. He needs he needs a little uh, commercial about his Kodiak. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, uh, next time, a uh, Fifty Cent comes and plays Blue Light, you let us know. We want to do a live remote from there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That'd be great. So, I'll try and set up an interview with with him. Hey, work on it. Okay. Yeah. Put that. Put that on the front burner there. Well, guys, um, I think that's about all the time we can burn. Um, Ashton, why don't you tell us about where you can find the Global Ag Network and uh, what's a part of the Global Ag Network? So you can find Global Ag Network on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Global Ag Network. And our website is just at globalagnetwork.com. And if you want to uh, check out the behind-the-scenes video that Brent and I produced, go ahead. And uh, we have that up on our website and our social media. It's actually on Brent's page. I believe it's globalagnetwork.com forward slash Dry dry line line farmer, I think. I think it's like dry line hyphen farmer. Okay. Something like that. Dry line farmer easier. was already taken. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah. So, uh, yeah. So that's a. Uh, see how smooth Ashton is. She's an actual communications major, and going to get that degree in like three years. So, um, any what's the news on the uh, classes for the fall? Uh, so I have four classes in one lab. All four of my classes are online. My lab is in person. Um, don't exactly know how they're going to do that just yet. I think it's going to be a little hybrid because it's not like a anatomy lab where I have to like dissect crap. It's just, a uh, like a conversation lab. Oh, okay. I guess. Conversation yeah. lab. That ought yeah. to be tough. Well, it's like we go in there and like go deeper and do math and crap. So my sister-in-law, she went to tech and, um, she, one summer session, she was signed up for, uh, one of her core classes or she was a telecom major. And, um, and now she's in Hereford, Texas. So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She worked at the Hereford brand her first year here. And that's the close she could got, got uh, she could have gotten to mass communications. But, um, so she signed up for one of her regular classes and then an hour of walking and her original, her core class didn't make. So she had one hour of walking for the summer session. <laughs> and she that. barely passed. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. No, I'm kidding. She didn't pass. She she didn't walk, she crawled. No, she didn't. <laughs> she uh, she didn't she didn't get the walking down. I've seen her I've seen her move. It's it's not pretty. It's, it's not she pretty. got she got caught jogging. Do what? She got caught jogging. She got caught jogging. <laughs> Uh yeah, so um that was a really hard semester for, her, but uh no, so um online um the bars are you're probably doing a whole lot of virtual bar drinking, aren't you, Ashton? Whole lot of it, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whole lot of at home learning. Yeah, we've just had to resort to drinking at home and it makes us feel kind of like alcoholics. Nice. <laughs> so it's real real good and fun. So has there been any parties over the summer? Yeah, there has been, but nothing nothing much to talk about. Yeah, no. Trying to stay safe and not do a whole lot of that during the pandemic. Or she's just not at liberty to say. <laughs> yeah, that's probably that's, a little more that's probable. The worst, part. the worst part about being an alcoholic is feeling <laughs> like an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like what did I? I don't know if Frank Sinatra actually says this, but the worst thing about not getting drunk every night is when you wake up in the morning. You know that's the best you're gonna feel all day. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he actually said that, but it's written on all the walls, and I think it was written. Where was it written at? Um, was it no, not the fifty yard line? What is that play? Is it Caprock Cafe? Is that still uh, thirty four? They have two locations now. Oh, okay, They're, it's on thirty fourth in Indiana, and then the mm-hmm. other yeah. one is on like eighty second, eighty second, or something. Okay. Wasn't there one called Jake's on thirty fourth? Yeah, no, it's on fiftieth. Oh, okay, fiftieth and slide. Fiftieth and slide. Man, we need to take a trip to Lubbock. Man, I'm missing it already. It's been too long. It's been too long. Well, guys, we're going to get out of here. We're, once again, pleased to have Ashton Carr with us. And um, she does does just a great job on her psychological analysis of celebrities and um, her sports analysis of uh, stadiums and their architecture. 
And Landon, um, we just let you on so we don't hurt your feelings. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's great. That's great. I'm glad you're uh, glad you're here. But uh, as I, asked, Kendall, at, at, <laughs> I was getting there. Thank you, Landon. <laughs> uh, you can find me at Trader Brent. That's where I'm going to tweet this episode out. And then Global Ag Network will tweet it out. And then Ashton will tweet it out. And then she'll ask why I tagged her in some certain tweet. And then I'll say, because <laughs> I always do that. And Landon's going to retweet it at his handle at... No twit Landon 44. And did you give yours, Ashton? No, mine's at Ashton underscore car. And find all those people on the Twitter machine. And, um, yeah, so we're going to get out of here. We're going to put on some 50 Cent, and uh, we're not going to tell him that we're going to play it because otherwise he'd probably want a royalty. And we can't afford that right now because corn's at $3.30 a bushel. So, um, and cotton is um, not high enough either. It's like 62. So um, there's your farming talk. That's your farming minute, Ashton. We always put it at the end because nobody listens at that point. Boom, it's so. an ag podcast. Uh, and now it's the bottom of the hour market report update. Do you do that? Do y'all do that, Ashton? Do y'all do ag radio, like an ag radio class? Uh, no. I took a video class and we did a little bit of podcast stuff. But. Yeah. The, uh, the, old, the poor old ag radio DJs in Amarillo, they're just it's a pretty tough gig. To say the least, they used to have an hour ag uh, and one hour ag segment on um, KGNC and Amarillo, and man, it was tough. I'm no radio personality, but man, you think they could get somebody better. But that's no more. That's neither here nor there, and we're going to get out of here. So, guys, until next time, y'all be careful and y'all stay safe, and we'll ask you what side of the line are you on? This has been a presentation of the Dry Line Farmer Podcast. Feel like you've lost 30 minutes of your life? Come back next week and we'll take more. There's podcasts and then there's this, the Dryline Farmer Podcast.